According to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being. Father, I thank you that you are all powerful, all wonderful, all glorious. I thank you that your resources are unlimited, that your power and your love and grace are incomprehensible and inexhaustible. Lord, you are truly rich in your glory. Thank you that out of your abundance, out of your richness, you long to grant us power through your spirit in our inner beings. You long to bring us to life by pouring out your spirit upon us. Right now, you are pouring out your spirit and strengthening us to pray and release your heart for the Philippines. You are strengthening the spirit man within each Philippines team member. You are depositing your glory, your love, your strength, and your joy, your spirit into their hearts right now, God. Oh 
Jesus, we exalt you in this room. We enthrone you in our hearts and in our praises, and we bow ourselves before you in surrender and in worship and in adoration. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. And we exalt you and declare that you are king over the Philippines, king over Cebu, king over Isabel City. You are king over the children, the mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters who have lost everything. You are king over these pastors, their families, these churches and schools. You are sovereign and you are in control. You are Lord over them all. You are good and you are a good king, Lord Jesus. And we declare that you and you alone reign in the Philippines tonight, God.
that you have come to save the Philippines. You have come to restore the Philippines, God. King Jesus, I thank you that you faithfully and steadfastly pursue us with your love, that your love chases us down. And God, we thank you that your love is being revealed to the Philippines tonight. Our eyes are on you, God. Our eyes are on you, King Jesus.
that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth. Lord, we start and end with you. It's your love, your kindness, your mercy, your goodness that pursued us and drew us to you. We stand on the foundation of your love for us. You so loved us that you gave your son for us, that whoever would call upon your name would be saved. You sent him so that we could be with you and know you in intimacy forever. Tonight, God, you are giving us a wider and longer and higher and deeper revelation of your love. This love that changed the course of eternity manifested in Jesus Christ. We set our eyes and our minds and our hearts on that love tonight. And Lord, we release that over the Philippines team and over the Filipino people. You so love the Philippines that you gave your son for them. You so love the Philippines that you have rounded up this new Philly team and sent them to release your love. You so love the Philippines, you have heard their cries and have felt their loss and their pain. And you have raised up and sent out deliverers in your name to bring healing and restoration and proclaim hope. Pour out your wide and long and high and deep love over the Philippines tonight, God.
um, mother and child and daughter and son, God, can find love, Lord, at the foot of the cross, just gazing upon you, God. So captivate them tonight with your love. Verse 19. And to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Father, it's your love and your love alone that satisfies. It's your love and your love alone that astounds us, enthralls us, captivates us. You are the one our hearts long for. You are the one we have been searching for. You are the one, Lord. And tonight, Father, you are giving us a fresh revelation of that love, the love that surpasses knowledge. Your love saves us and restores us. It renews us. It heals us and it sets us free. Your love fills us to the brim and overflows out of us. You love us so well, Father. And we release the fullness of that love and your heart over the Philippines trip. You are right now pouring it out on every team member. You are causing them to remember your love, causing them to return to their first love. Before everything else, when they just stood before you as children would stand before their good father to receive love, each team member is gonna come before you in the same way. You are grounding and rooting each team member in your love. You are opening up every heart of the Filipino people and you are softening their hearts and giving them hearts of flesh and not hearts of stone. Right now, God, you are pouring out your deep love upon the Philippines. Love doesn't make sense all the time. Love is inexplicable. Love carries us.
all hopelessness, all despair. And Lord, I thank you that your love, God, strengthens us and sustains us. And Lord, we just declare that love coming upon the Philippines, God, a fresh revelation, a fresh revelation of the width and the height and the depth and the length of your love, God, that every heart let every heart encounter that fresh revelation, that fresh touch tonight, God, of your love. Pour it out over the Philippines. Pour it out over Cebu. Pour it out over Isabel City tonight, God.
congregation of the Philippines, and I'm going to pray a topic first, and then you can release your own intercession after I finish. Lord, we release supernatural empathy and oneness with your heart over each team member right now. We declare that they will see in the spirit and not in the flesh. They will walk in the Isaiah 61 anointing to bind the brokenhearted and release love, healing, comfort, joy, and hope to those who have suffered great loss and trauma. We declare that the power of the gospel will release hope, transformation, and restoration over all who hear. God, do the deep work in the hearts of the Filipino people that only you can do. Pour out your spirit on them, for you are the master physician, counselor, and comforter.
Father, thank you for being such a good dad to your children. You are a father to the fatherless. You set the lonely in families. You have adopted us as sons and brought us into your house. We release that revelation of the Father's love over the Philippines right now, specifically over the Filipino children and youth. We declare eyes, ears, hearts open to your Father's love for them. We declare many prodigal and lost sons will come back home tonight, God. Many orphans will be adopted into the family of God. Jesus, you are reconciling these beloved children back to yourself. We declare thick anointing over every VBS, youth, children, and school ministry time. The team will be a walking manifestation of the Father's love in everything they do. Every hug, game, song, message, let it be a revelation of the Father's heart. Pour out your spirit on this young generation of Filipino children. Astound them by your love, God. Father them, Lord.
Lord, you are the author of all wisdom. You hold all knowledge and have all understanding. You have given this Philippines missions team a sensitivity to hear and discern your voice and to be bold and fiery prophetic messengers of your words. You have given this team, especially Pastor David and Pastor Jamie, a well-instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. You awaken the team morning by morning and feed them your words to give to the Filipino people. We declare a thick anointing and abiding in your presence over the team. They will be ever mindful of you, God, at all times. I thank you that in your presence there is fullness of life, that the team will minister in signs and wonders very organically and naturally, that it will just flow out of them. And I thank you that the rhema words, God, the rhema words from your heart will be released through pastors David and Jamie as they preach. We thank you that your word will be released with power, precision, and it will save, restore, and sustain your people, God.
are so good to us. And Jesus, we enthrone you in our hearts and we say with one voice that we love you. We love you, God, and we long to see your name lifted high above every name. We long for that day when every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that you, Jesus, are Lord. We glorify your name, King Jesus, and for this reason, we bow our knees before you, Father, that according to the riches of your great glory, you may grant us, grant the Philippines team, grant the Filipino people power through your spirit in our inner beings, that Christ may dwell in our hearts through faith, that we, being rooted and grounded in love, may have the strength to comprehend with all the saints the width and length and height and depth of your love, and to know this love of Christ that surpasses knowledge that we in this room, on our missions team and in the, in the Philippines, God, that we may be filled with all the fullness of God. And in Jesus' name, amen. provide for those that are uh, in, in just 
in need, Father, of place to stay and clothes to wear and food to eat, God. Lord, you are faithful. Your heart is for the widows. Your heart is for the orphans. And Lord, show yourself mightily in the Philippines. And we thank you, Father, for touching us, being with us, and filling this room with your presence, God. But we just can't get enough of you, Lord. And we ask that your presence would just go with us as we go home. And that, uh, that you would just continue to reveal your heart to us, Father. We love you. And we pray all these things in your Jesus. Precious name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, tonight was the last night of our um, prayer week for our missions team. Thank you so much for those that have been coming out almost every week every day uh, and um, yeah I just really felt that tonight was it wasn't so much about the fire it wasn't so much about um, you know the manifestation of God's power but it was really about the father's love uh, father's love for the Philippines and for those that are broken for those that have just gone through so much and I was just reminded of just a little you know we get into trouble whenever we are hurt like we run to our daddies right like we run to our father's arms and i i just felt that that was god's heart for the philippines um so continue to pray for our teams and continue to pray for the philippines throughout this week um yeah thank you so much for joining us and just reminding you that k1 will resume uh again on tuesday night and wednesday morning session be sure to come out or tune in to our Ustream. And thank you for joining us. Be blessed. In Jesus', in Jesus name. I bless you. Amen. Amen.